previous class we discussed reaction of simple buffer or mechanism of a simple buffer solution okay so in this lecture we are going to discuss action of an acidic buffer okay or mechanism of acidic buffer okay let us take an example of acidic buffer okay so what is an acidic buffer a weak acid let us take hcl okay a weak acid plus it's a salt formed with a strong base okay then hcl okay so weak acid plus it's a salt formed with a strong base NaOH the salt is formed is sodium cyanide okay so this mixture is now considered as acidic buffer right okay so here this HCl is a weak acid means it undergoes incomplete ionization okay so here it, when it ionizes we get H plus and Cn minus but it is a weak acid okay only very less molecules are ionizing okay so most of the molecule remain as it is right next NaCl okay so here this will dissociate into Na plus plus Cn minus okay so here it is a strong electrolyte so it will undergo almost 100% ionization okay clear so here we are getting these two ions now let us take this buffer solution in a container okay Okay. So, in this container we are taking our buffer solution that is HCN which dissociate into H plus plus CN minus and NaCN which dissociate into okay so it is a strong electrolyte so Na plus plus CN minus okay clear so now this is a buffer solution for this one let us assume we are adding a strong acid okay so for example we are adding hcl okay hcl is a strong acid right now this hcl dissociate to give h plus plus cl minus right h plus plus cl minus so we know one general concept that th is inversely proportional to concentration of h plus ions right okay so this relation we know very well right so now here what is happening when you add strong acid to this buffer solution this is giving H plus ions means now H plus ion concentration is increasing yes or no means definitely pH should decrease but here what happens when we add this one immediately the formed H plus ions they combine with anion present in the buffer solution so here Cn minus ion is already present in the buffer solution now it will immediately combine with H plus ions. Okay. So remember that whenever these H plus ions are free, then only they will change the pH of the solution. But here, what is happening? Immediately, this added H plus ions are combining with the anion which is present in the solution. So this will give HCl. Okay. HCl. Okay. So now generally we think that all the H plus ions are consumed by this one so that's why there is no change in the pH not like that actually here most of the H plus ions combines with the anion okay but uh, one, one more thing also happens here okay see here what is happening HCN is formed right and this formed HCN again undergoes dissociation to give H plus plus Cn minus okay so but here what happens this is a weak acid yes or no Weak acid means undergoes very very less ionization and also here common ion effect is also present. So that's why what happens this one HCN is very very less dissociated means very less H plus ions are produced. Okay. So due to uh, these two reasons here only very few H plus ions are left and here very few H plus ions are generated. Okay. So because of these remaining are H plus ions and here formed H plus ion, there is a very very less change in the pH. Okay, where there is a very very less decrease in the pH that is negligible. Okay, clear? Actually, there is change in the pH when we add strong acid to the buffer solution, but the change is not very very large. Okay, the change is very very less. What is the reason? Very few H plus ions are present as free H plus ions, so that's why the change in pH is very very less that is negligible okay next here let us assume for this one 
we are adding a strong base NaOH. Okay, a strong base is added to this that will dissociate into Na plus plus OH minus. Okay, Na plus and OH minus. See here also. Whenever this OH minus ions are free, what is the relation here? pH is directly proportional to concentration of OH minus ions, right? Okay, so when OH minus ions concentration changes, pH also changes, means, so here OH plus minus ion concentration is increasing now. Okay, means pH should increase, but what happens? See here, already we discussed that this acid is almost undissociated due to the common ion effect. So, immediately whenever we add this base to the buffer solution, this undissociated or the remaining acid react with OH minus ions which we added. Okay, and that will produce water molecules plus CN minus ion. Okay, water molecules plus Cn minus ions. Okay, so here again water is also a very very weak acid, so that's why there is a very very less dissociation, so that's why there is another there is no large change in the concentration of OH minus ions. Okay, so right. So what is happening here when we add base, this OH minus ions immediately combined with acid left in the solution. Okay, so the water is formed and anion is formed, so that's why most of the OH minus ions are now reacted with the acid left in the solution. So that's why very very less OH minus ions are left in the solution. So that's why there is a slight increase in the pH, okay, but that is generally negligible. Okay, clear? So here in this way, when we add strong acid or strong base to the buffer solution, there is a very very less change in the pH generally that is considered as negligible change okay so generally that's why we say that when a strong acid or base is added to the acidic buffer there is no change in the pH actually there is a slight change in the pH but that is negligible okay clear so once again we recall this one okay so this is the buffer solution which buffer acidic buffer for this one, when we add acid, a strong acid, what happens? A strong acid releases H plus ion. Means pH should decrease. But what is happening? This added H plus ions immediately react with anion present in the buffer solution. Okay. So that's why most of the H plus ions are reacted. And the formed acid is a very very weak electrolyte. Means it undergoes less ionization. Very few H plus ions are present. So that's why here what happens, there is a slight change in the pH but that is negligible because very very less number of H plus ions are present here. Okay, clear? Now, see here, the Cn minus which is neutralizing this H plus ions or reacting with H plus ions, it is called as reserve base. Okay, reserve base. Very very important. Okay. The anion or a conjugate base which is neutralizing the H plus ions added from to a buffer solution that is called as reserve base. Okay, next here, see here what is happening when we add strong base, when the OH minus ions are free, then only there is a change in the pH, but what is happening here? The added OH minus ions immediately reacting with acid left in the buffer solution. The acid left means that is undissociated acid. So this acid which is undissociated is called as reserve acid. Okay, reserve acid. Okay, clear? So now this reserve acid is neutralizing this OH minus ions to give water molecule and Cl minus. Okay, means most of the added OH minus ions are reacted so that's why very very less OH minus ions are present. So that's why there is a very very less increase in the pH that is generally negligible. Okay. So in this way, an acidic buffer resists the change in its pH when we add a strong acid or strong base to it. Okay. The only thing you should remember that actually there is a slight change in the pH when we add acid or base to the buffer solution, but that is very very less. And the base 
which is present in the buffer solution which is neutralizing the H plus ions which we added is called as reserve base okay and the acid which is present in the buffer solution in the unionized form which is neutralizing the OH minus ions added from the outside is called as reserve acid okay clear so this is about action of acidic buffer in the next lecture we discuss action of a basic buffer okay